So how we do the cash flow side of things or, you know, the spending and, and savings plan, we use a bucket strategy. So we have set bank accounts for different purposes. You have one bank account for uh, your fixed costs, uh, another one for your spending, another one for paying off credit cards, that sort of thing. Next, you'd have big ticket items, you know, holidays. It's important to have a bucket for those things because that's what keeps life interesting and, and fun. And then the last one is putting some money aside for investment strategies for a long-term financial plan. If we do the process and we have a calculator that works, works all this out, if you don't have any money left over for investments, then that's when we need to maybe go back and try and cut some things out. Some things that you may be spending money on that doesn't really add a lot of value. So it's quite often not a difficult thing to do. I mean, it's become a bit more difficult with inflation recently. But um, the other thing is, if there isn't a surplus there, maybe you can make some extra money. Maybe you can ask for a raise of your boss. Maybe you can earn some more money in your business. There are lots of other ways that you can increase your income. If you don't have a surplus there to put towards your financial future, or you're not willing to create a surplus, you're never going to get to financial freedom. You're just not going to have enough money 